talk about emotionally decluttering. Dr. Karen Gordon is here. because a lot of us underestimate the importance of actually having our space clear and being a little bit more minimalist because it really does affect the way we think and the way we function. Absolutely. And um, as you know, I when I was in high school, I actually wanted, I was debating about being an in, in, in interior designer. Yes. And it was a big toss-up, interior designer psychology, I obviously went to study psychology. But first year university, I signed up for this class called environmental psychology. And it's all about the research on what happens uh, emotionally to us based on our environment. Things like clutter, lighting, color, Mm. And I realized when I took that class, I'm like, that's why I like design, because it really is about how it impacts a person's mood, their motivation, and the research is really cool on just why it's actually good to be decluttered. Right. Really important. And it's also very compelling research, so this yes. isn't the sort of thing that you should just uh, that's sort of, right. you know, not pay attention to. It's actually affecting your, and you even say your relationships. Even your relationships. So Princeton did some cool research around, they've actually found that disorganized environments decrease a person's focus, mm -hmm. performance and time management right. and also increases your stress. UCLA, this is going to be no surprise to all the moms, UCLA found a research that the moment a mother touches stuff yes. in her house, her stress increases. <laughs> We're like, uh, hello, yeah, it's a little obvious. <laughs> Don't have to do a research study for that, but yes, it really, but every time we've got the stuff, because we're competing, yeah. when we have more stuff, we're competing against all those items. So some of you are natural, what I call purgers, that's mm -hmm. what I am, I mm -hmm. think you are too. And uh, I, it depends on really? the thing. What I do is I hide stuff. Oh, you're a hider. So don't you're a hider. Open, don't okay. open my closets. <laughs> okay. The house looks amazing. <laughs> don't open the closet. Like everything like will secret. come tumbling down. Oh, that's so funny. I didn't yeah, know that. I okay. hide them. Because I, I need it to be very tidy for my brain. For your brain. But yes. I, I feel like the the uh, the prospect of actually getting rid of everything is yes. overwhelming for okay. me. And I need to take a week and just do and it. And just do it. Yeah. 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 But I'm hiding it all. Okay. Because I'm a purger. Brent yeah. is a gatherer. I call it a gatherer. Mm, yeah. Yeah. Instead of a That's sweet. Well, it's a little bit more positive than uh, <laughs> a clutterer or, or a hoarder. Or, or a hoarder yeah, right? We're going to call it a gatherer. He yeah. likes to keep, you know, it's like sweet. I might use it one day. Yes. That might be 15 years from now, but I might use that one day. So what we really want to do is we want to try to get couples on the same page and really understand why this is actually a really good thing to declutter yes. your space and how that's going to actually impact you. So you actually have a list of benefits. Yes, the first one um, being that you you find treasures. You find when treasures. You declutter. But you treasures know, you need to give away. Well, not necessarily. Okay. Some, sometimes. Uh, so when I get the boys to, to declutter their room, every single time they will be like, oh, that's I was true. wondering where this was. Oh, this is awesome. That's true. And I'm like, See, that's why it's good to declutter. I kind of <laughs> like it in my little, moment. yeah, a little teaching <laughs> moment. But it is every single time they will find things. Yeah, every single true. time. So it's great. You find stuff that uh, you've been losing. Okay, you can save money. You can save money. So now that you're finding those things, you don't actually have to buy, go out and buy them. When True. I went through all my clothes, I'm like, oh, that's where that belt was. I couldn't find it. And here I was going to go buy a different belt. So all of a sudden, by you're finding things, you're actually going to save yourself money. Right. Yes. Okay. Very you can important. also find money between the cushions when you're decluttering. Properly. Yes. <laughs> yes. Put that yes. In your piggy bank. Yeah. Uh, you can make money. How okay. do you make money? So this is a fun one. So think about all the stuff that we have. We all have stuff in our house that we don't really use. We yeah. like it, but we don't love it, right? Right. So this actually came up with, um, with Karen. Seely actually gave me this idea. Mm -hmm. We were talking this one day, and she and somehow it came up that we have a garage at our house. And I said we don't really use it; it's just kind of has a whole bunch of stuff. She's like, "Well, do you need that stuff?" I'm like, "Not really. I don't even know what's in the garage." Mm -hmm. And she's like, "You could rent your garage." I'm like. What? Oh, really? I'm like, you can rent your garage? She's like, in Toronto, you can rent your garage. So I came home, I'm like, Brent, what about if we get rid of all that stuff and you can rent your garage? For what? For money. I know, but what are they going to yeah, do? Yeah, I know, but well, what kind? What kind are we renting for? What are they going to do? Would they use it as like an artist studio? They, space? We've had a few people they use it. Live there? So no, no, you can't rent. But, but for space, I don't know. so we've had we've had artists rent it. We've had oh. people who actually uh, are, um, there was one father and two sons that wanted to buy, uh, build a car together. But oh. they so they use the space. So they just need a garage so they need to be used yes. as a garage. You got it. So but we they put don't it, have one. So all of a sudden we're making four hundred dollars a month. Oh my gosh! For a garage, Brent's like, this is the best idea ever. That's really like, smart. Isn't that interesting? And yeah. all the stuff was stuff he said. Well, maybe we 
will keep it. We'll use it one day. I'm like, Get really, is it. it worth it? That's almost $5,000 a year. That's amazing. So um, so you can make money, and you don't have to have a garage. You can put stuff on Kijiji, Craigslist. Yes. Get, you know, you have stuff. It's a treasure to somebody else. Bless it's another. True. Bless somebody else. The reason why a lot of people don't do it, though, is it does take the time. It takes time. It takes a chunk of people time. People want to yes. haggle. Yeah. Um, you got to set up a, a pickup location and a drop-off location. Yes. So you have to understand there is definitely a time yes, investment involved with getting rid of your stuff, but it is worth it. It's worth it. I would say it is absolutely yes. worth it. Uh, it creates mental space and creativity. Oh, big time. So one of, uh, this is Claire's actually influence on me. So, you know, uh, cooking is not one of my strengths. We, yeah. I, I've been honest I'm with that. I'm with your sister. Yeah, I, it's just not one of my strengths. And yeah. so Claire talked to me about really getting rid of stuff in the kitchen that I don't have. So I got rid of all the stuff. I took everything out, out of the cupboards. Yeah. All the tools, the gadgets I don't really use, put stuff back and only the things that I really use, including all of Brent's stuff that he has all these gadgets. So I said, why don't we give you this section of the kitchen so it's his stuff. Mm -hmm. I cannot even begin to tell you how that like increased my creativity all yeah. of a sudden I am totally excited about cooking it's That's like amazing a, I know and this is okay. like that was three months ago and it actually has stayed consistent so it really will because you're 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 creating mental space on actually and it will actually breathe creativity because as soon as you open that drawer and you see all that Tupperware with no matching lids oh just get oh, me out of here I know it's like, like it's exhausting, it. and then we feel irritated, and yeah. then we don't want to do anything. Yeah, you get, I get it. Yeah, so you give your spouse a section of the kitchen. This was my aha moment. Yeah. And all of a sudden, all my kitchen cupboards, I like everything I'm actually using. Right. Yeah, no, yeah, so it's it's great. So I'm going to get Leo to give me a section. Yeah, yeah, have it like a little a tricky section. The kitchen section. is his domain. Is it? Yes. Okay. Oh, oh absolutely. Yeah. So he's you the just chef. Need, he's the chef. Yeah. Okay. I got to okay. get out of his way. Yeah. Okay, so um, one more one more before we go to break. It saves time. It will save you massive amount of time it's yeah. gonna save you a massive amount of time and in that it's gonna create harmony with your relationship very good because we're not we've got the the per, you know the gatherer and the purger and they're on the same page yeah you will create this synergy and it will just make everybody it will really be an amazing really benefit to your relationship for okay. sure